Davao Light serves about 3,600 square kilometers of area, and we serve two cities and three municipalities in the south of the Philippines. And we serve about 476,000 customers, close to 500 megawatts of demand. It is our vision to be a world-class electric utility, providing safe, reliable, and continuous power to our customers, which is essential in the growth of our cities. This mission prompted us to modernize our facilities, including our substations. The digitalization is way forward. It will improve our reliability and help us serve our customer better. We have seen its potential in improving the services that we're, we're having, including the awareness in our substations and lowering the interruption time if ever there are. We want a solution that is future-proof. We want to go away as much as possible from a vendor-dependent solution. So that's why we've chosen to implement IEC 6850. We found that it will not only modernize and digitize our process in the substation, but it also allows us to bring down our cost tremendously. We have three fully digital substations. Those substations are among the first uh, fully digital substation in the Philippines. So we've mostly eliminated copper and we've used fiber communications between the intelligent electronic devices that are installed in the substations. It's more on a network base, which is easy to implement. For a typical uh, substation, the construction will take you around, I think, more than a year. But with the uh, new technology, the timeline is greatly reduced by 50%. One of our key performance indicators is system reliability. We did not outright decide like we're going to use the full digital uh, te substation technology in one project. If we do it face by face, at least we're able to have risk mitigation in place. In the Philippines, I think we're one of the early adopters. So it's not something that we can find experts immediately. So the first challenge is for us to train and make exports out of the engineers that we have here in Davao Light. We need a vendor that can be a partner also in terms of training and support. That's why we've chosen Schweitzer. We started from scratch. We conducted a yearly training program with Schweitzer. We had a proof of concept set up and then there comes a time that SEL will come here over and then teach us how to configure all the devices. We involved everyone in the substation group, including the substation testing and the substation operations team. All those five years that we did with Schweitzer in terms of training were translated uh, thankfully to working projects right now. We want our digital substation design to be as similar as possible to the principles we had with the conventional design. Protection is still protection. We place the merging units as close to the instrument transformers as possible. The good thing with the SEL merging unit is it has a relatively high operating temperature. So we're confident that in the Philippines heat, it can still function. The merging unit will convert those analog values into digital and then will be sent to the control room, however far it is, via fiber optic cable. We ensure that the protection system is really dependable and reliable by making sure that the IEC 650 network is reliable also. So we implemented Goose Communications in parallel redundancy protocol. Since we have implemented the main and backup merging unit, we ensure that our protection system will still work even if one of the cities will fail. We cannot implement that scheme without the use of Schweitzer's software-defined networks. That's the key feature of our digital substation. We program the SDN in such a way that it's cyber secure. Only the allowed signals really are flowing inside the process bus of our digital substation. SEL has been really a great partner. The response is very fast. The solutions have been always on time. We are very thankful because we have that kind of uh, partnership. We were able to energize the first digital substation during the pandemic. 
it was a, a big accomplishment for us. Um, now we're reaping the benefits of having the protection system digitalized. It has greatly improved the reliability of our feeders. We can pinpoint the root cause of the trippings. It's gonna be lesser time for troubleshooting and restoring the power. This 61850 protocol is giving us a big leap towards modernizing our assets.